and they're off heading down the back stretch. Brandon Kidder on the outside, he looks to move to the front. That's Craig Nowak sliding in in that white jersey. He trains with the Jacuzzi Boys out in Portland, Oregon. And no surprise, immediately finding his spot behind Brandon Kidder is the man, the myth, the legend, Josh Kerr, the multiple-time NCAA champ out of New Mexico. He was sixth in the world in Doha and has a personal best of 332. So no pace is too hot for him. The man from the north. Seattle's favorite Scotsman coming in right on the shoulder of the rabbit. Oh, right. and Eric Avila swinging wide already. Right now they're bunched up. They're looking maybe almost too comfortable as they come through in 44. You know, that's good for the guys up front, for, but for the guys in the back, they're, they're going to be a little bit slower than, the, than they were hoping for. And you see him in second or in lane two is Johnny Gregoric in the blue singlet now probably uh, looking to make up that lost time. What does Johnny need to do as they come through in roughly 59 seconds here? Yeah, you know, I think in the New Balance Grand Prix, we saw him hang back a little bit too much early in the race. And then last weekend in Austin, we saw him run really aggressive. I think for him, it's about finding that equilibrium, that middle ground, sit in the middle of the pack and hopefully have something left the last lap. Matthew Centrowitz Jr. sliding into that fourth position behind Vince Ciotti, the savviest tactician maybe of all time in the sport coming in here. He won that Olympic gold medal running 350 from the front with a 50-second final quarter. Centrowitz is a guy who runs big. You know, he takes up a lot of space. He's not afraid to move you around, and he's honestly annoying to run next to because he's so tactically sound. But he's the sort of guy that a lot of people are going to be keying off of. Always looking very relaxed and smooth, too. He doesn't give you any tells when he's hurting. Yeah, and, you know, right now he's staring at the back of Vinciati, who had a 357 mile earlier this season, and therefore you know he's fit and ready to go as we see Brandon Kidder just starting to swing a little bit wide as they approach the 900-meter mark. And now we're going to see if it's the Josh Kerr show tonight. Could be the Josh Kerr show here, ladies and gentlemen. He's taking the lead. He's at the front. Vince Ciotti behind him. And that's Craig Nowak, too, right behind Matt Centrowitz. And then Isaac York's behind him. They're all strung out. As they come through 1,000 and about 225 high, they're maybe a couple seconds off that 335 pace, but Josh Kerr does look like he's injected a lot of life into this pace as they're extremely strung out with a lap to go in just under 240. You hear the bell there. The whole field is covering roughly 50 yards down the stretch, and the front three have separated themselves, but Josh Kerr really stepping on the gas here and taking command of this race. And that is a gap, ladies and gentlemen. Look at him fly down the back stretch. And the guys that I'm looking at, you know, Centrowitz is now starting to respond, go around Vince, but Sam Prakel and Johnny Gregoric maybe missed that Josh Kerr move because they were a little bit too deep. And so they have life left in their legs, but the question is, do they have enough real estate? This is not a subtle move. This is a big time move. And now the lead is, is humongous as he comes into this final stretch here. And it's all Josh Kerr, ladies and gentlemen. He's gritting his teeth. The man from the north from Scotland, now from Seattle, from the shores of Puget Sound, and he's flown by us, heading into this line here, and that's a 335 calling as, off the dogs. As we see the Bowerman Track Club athlete Amos Barsmeyer representing Germany closing hard in 338.5 to take second, and third from ASICS is Johnny Gregoric, and fourth is the vet Nick Willis. The fans are going wild up in Seattle, Kyle. They're throwing fish to everybody in Pike's Flakes Market right now. It's salted mackerel on the table. <laughs> you know, I think that a lot of us were expecting Josh to do exactly what he did. And it was something that you and I were speaking about earlier in the day is, you know, it's almost predictable now. You know what he's going to do, but you can't do anything about it. There was no answer from the field here. That was all Josh Kerr. I mean, as soon as the rabbit stepped off, he went to the front and then leading from the front injected a move down there just shortly after the bell so we see matt centrowitz there in eighth place 340 to open his season uh, you know again it's a very very long year and i think for a lot of these guys this was a rust buster and it's just something that you look to build off of now